Hey there, welcome back to another exciting video. Today, we're diving deep into engine code P0068, the MAP MAF throttle position correlation. By the end of this video, you'll be a pro at understanding what P0068 is all about, recognizing its symptoms, pinpointing its causes, and mastering diagnosing and fixing it. So, buckle up and let's get started. So what exactly does the engine code P0068 mean? Well, P0068 indicates a correlation error between the manifold absolute pressure sensor, the mass airflow sensor, and the throttle position sensor. Typically related to inconsistencies in the data provided by these sensors, let's dive into the symptoms of a sneaky little trouble code, P0068. This code might be tiny, but trust me, it can cause some serious headaches under the hood. So let's break it down one symptom at a time. All right, let's start with number one, check engine light illuminated. You know that little warning light on your dashboard that looks like an engine? Yep, that's the one we're talking about. When it decides to light up, it's like your car's way of saying, hey, something's not quite right here. A persistent P0068 code may trigger the check engine light to turn on, indicating a problem with the manifold absolute pressure sensor, the mass airflow sensor, and the throttle position sensor. Now on to number two, engine performance may take a hit, causing rough running or hesitation, with the P0068 code activated, the engine control module, ECM, may not receive necessary sensor data related to the airflow control circuit to maintain the air-fuel ratio at 14.5 parts of air to one part of fuel. This can result in rough running or hesitation, impacting the overall performance of the engine. Number three, visible exhaust emissions. Yep, we're talking about visible exhaust emissions. When your car is dealing with a P0068 code, it can mess with the air fuel mixture, causing it to go lean or rich. And when that happens, you might start seeing visible smoke coming from your tailpipe. In number four, we're talking about engine stalling. When your car is grappling with a P0068 code, it can cause intermittent stalling episodes. It's like your engine's playing a game of hide and seek with its power source. Let's talk about number five, lack of power. Ever feel like your car's lost its mojo, especially when you're trying to kick it into high gear? Well, that could be because of the P0068 code. When this code rears its ugly head, it messes with the air fuel ratio, which in turn affects how much fuel gets to your engine. And when your engine isn't getting the fuel it needs, you'll feel it in the form of sluggish acceleration and an overall lack of power. Number six, do you ever feel like you're spending more time at the gas pump than you used to? Well, that could be because of the P0068 code. When this code creeps into your engine system, it affects the proper regulation of the air-fuel ratio due to either the absence of sensor data or a mechanical problem with the throttle valve, you end up with inefficient fuel consumption. So what's the deal with the engine code P0068? Well, when your car throws a P0068, it's basically saying powertrain control module is unable to validate the information provided by these sensors. Now, there are a few things that could be causing this. We're talking electrical problems, faulty map MAF or TPS sensor, and even issues with the vacuum leak. Let's break it down one by one. First up, we've got electrical wire issues. This covers a range of problems like dodgy connections and electrical connectors, wires that are frayed or broken, blown fuses, losing the ground, switches that have gone haywire, or even issues with wires that were repaired in the past. Basically anything that messes with the flow of electricity through the wiring system can set off the P0068 code. Number two, faulty MAP sensor. If the MAP sensor is defective or malfunctioning, it can cause irregularities in injector timing and spark advance, which are necessary to maintain a 14.5, one fuel ratio, leading to the P0068 code. And coming in at number three, faulty mass airflow sensor. A faulty mass airflow sensor can disrupt the correlation between the MAP sensor, MAF sensor, and TPS, resulting in the occurrence of the P0068 trouble code. And coming in at number four, throttle position sensor. A faulty throttle position sensor can cause P0068 code. And coming in at number five, Vacuum leak, a vacuum leak through hoses or connections, can potentially trigger the P0068 trouble code. Now how to diagnose and fix the P0068 code? When it comes to diagnosing and fixing the P0002 code, it's all about pinpointing issues with the MAP, MAF, TPS data correlation. 
Diagnosing the P0068 code typically requires specialized diagnostic tools and equipment. However, there are some methods you can try yourself to diagnose and potentially fix the issue. The first method involves thoroughly scanning for any additional codes. In this method, the diagnostic process involves looking for any additional diagnostic trouble codes that may be present. These additional codes could offer valuable clues about related issues that could be contributing to the P0068 code. To address this issue, it's important to tackle any other codes that are present, as resolving these may also resolve the P0068 code. The second method entails thoroughly inspecting for any issues in the connection of these sensors. In this method, the diagnosis involves inspecting the electrical wiring related to the MAP-P, MAF, and TPS for any signs of damage, such as frayed wires, loose connections, or corroded terminals. Additionally, check the fuses related to the, these three sensors. If any issues are found, replace any damaged wiring, tighten loose connections, and replace any blown fuses. In this process, if the P0068 code is suspected to be caused by faulty sensors, inspect for any signs of a bad sensor. To diagnose the issue, visually inspect each of these sensors one by one for any signs of dirt, debris, or damage. If you observe any dirt or debris, clean it. If there are any signs of damage, replace the sensor with a new one. A vacuum leak can introduce unmetered air into the engine, potentially triggering the P0068 code. Therefore, it's essential to inspect the vacuum system for any signs of leaks. To diagnose the issue, check for any leaks in the vacuum system, inspect the vacuum hoses and connections for any cracks or damage. You can also use a can of carburetor cleaner to spray around the vacuum lines and connections while the engine is running. If the engine idle changes, it indicates a leak. Replace or repair the damaged vacuum hoses or connections. Ensure they are properly sealed to prevent any vacuum leaks. Finally, to prevent the occurrence of the P0068 code, it's important to implement routine maintenance and take proper care. Here are some preventative measures. Change the air filter according to the manufacturer's recommendations to prevent clogs and airflow restrictions in the intake system. Opt for high quality air filters to ensure efficient filtration and airflow in the intake system. Periodically inspect the vacuum lines, connections, and components for wear, leaks, or damage. Clean any debris or buildup to maintain proper vacuum pressure. Ensure the fuse box and associated electrical components are inspected and maintained regularly. Clean any corrosion or buildup that may affect electrical connections and functionality.